Hi folks, my name is Michael Lawson and I have some exciting news, some very exciting news for all the gamers, all the people that own Adapt Tech Game Bridge. That Adapt Tech Game Bridge does work on Windows 7 Ultimate without any file alterations, any anything. I mean it works, you can install it and as you can see right now I have my Xbox connected and it's actually on the Game Bridge. Click on it and it's responsive I mean it's just like you're playing it on a regular television it's way better game bridge for people who don't know you can buy it off of woot.com I bought it off of woot.com in 2007 and I, I've had it in a box with all my computer junk and I've never been able to use it after you know Windows Vista but some people they alter files they got it to work but I'm here to tell you that it works on Windows 7 Ultimate and it's responsive, better resolution and everything. I mean, it's great. It's awesome. So I'm, I would try to keep this video short. I mean, let me exit out of that. Let me exit out of that. Okay. Click on, you see my desktop, Computer 7. Let me click on Computer Properties. Windows 7, you can see it right here, Windows 7 Ultimate Edition, running the 32-bit operating system version, it's, it works, it's on there, I mean, this is not per se the, I don't want to incriminate myself, but you can find this Windows 7 Ultimate on YouTube and download it and authenticate it and bam, you got it, operating system, that's how I got it, so, okay, let me see, no strings attached, this is actually on here, go to program files, you got enter video home theater for your, people who are familiar with game bridge you know that's what runs the game bridge right there that home theater bam popped up game bridge you know it works works on there and I'll show you how to install it on your computer okay so first thing I did was download the ISO to the game bridge because nobody has the drivers to all the game bridges I mean uh, into adapt tech they stopped making the driver for the thing you can't even go to the website and upload the driver so I downloaded the, the ISO to it and I'll include the link in the description and bam downloaded that burnt it to a DVD and you know I have it so let me do something I don't want to do but I have installed it back on here so I know it works let me go to game bridge uninstall and then uninstall my game bridge disconnect my game bridge I'm going to uninstall it and if it doesn't work oh well I can still uninstall it go to control panel go to hardware and sound and go to device manager now with this device manager you have to have it plugged in so plug my game bridge in okay it recognizes it once you try to uninstall it it messes it up messes the files up in it so you have to uninstall it manually go to properties driver uninstall driver uninstall it bam uninstall it and I want to unplug it again so the steps that I've shown is the way that I I figured out you know that to install it so I want you to do exactly what I'm doing so I go back into my control panels and go to programs Windows 7 is so awesome that they have actually included this option to where you go to programs and features you can run programs made for previous versions of Windows and this is so awesome it's so tight so uh, click on that and it might pop up behind you know I don't know it kept doing it before come on let me click on that double click there it is bam it says run program program compatibility troubleshoot I'm trying to make this video short so first thing you do is click next and it'll detect all your programs that you have installed I just fresh installed this 107 ultimate so I don't have a lot you click not listed okay now you enter the programs files location now this will be the location of your DVD drive so you click find the file auto run and click that this file system is designed to to run .exe files so that's why you click auto run and then click next and then you will click try recommended settings click that 
and what it says test compatibility settings for the program settings apply Windows compatibility mode Windows XP service pack 2 so it actually makes this operating system as Windows XP service pack 2 so no more dang I hit my little stand so no more going to VMware and making virtual you know virtual whatever they do VM, you know VM player you make a virtual thing to where you run run as XP as an operating system but I tried that and the performance of game bridge is garbage and I mean you you get so much lag and it's, it's terrible so this is the awesome program you hit start program you see that shield where you have to allow it virus protection on it allow it and the next thing that happened game bridge should pop up bam it popped up right here now you want to hit click install game bridge okay now you get this little install game bridge thing pops up and it's basically a wizard telling you to connect your game bridge. I'll say, okay, as soon as you connect your game bridge, you'll get that that pop up down here in the right hand corner saying new hardware file. As soon as you see that pop, that box pop up, click on it and click skip. So let me just bam, I click on the box. I hit skip obtaining driver software from Windows Update. Skip it. Bam, it says adapt tech game bridge avc whatever loader install and then you'll see that box in the background disappear that means it's installed and guess what bam i got the green light green light on my game bridge that means it's installed and i'm telling you guys it'll work it'll work go back now the next thing how to install the files on here because you have to actually go inside the program, go inside the disk itself and install the files to it because that's the only way it, it won't work. So I close that box. I go to computer, go to disk, right click it, hit open a new window. And what you want to do is click on software, click on enter video and run the setup to it. And okay. You see the setup right here. You run the setup to it. Click on setup. I already have the files installed on here, so it won't do it. But the main problem that people was having that they was getting to this point, but it wouldn't recognize the game bridge. But the game bridge is now installed, so it can actually find the game bridge. You go to setup, run the setup. wizard or startup and after this if it detects the game bridge then it'll actually start bam setup starts so it works i mean i already have it installed so i don't have to do the setup all i got to do is go back to my game bridge you know the the uh the theater stays on there regardless you, you know you got to uninstall it by itself but bam the game bridge is back working and I just uninstalled it. People, if you're having problems and it still doesn't work, what you want to make sure and do is uninstall it using the hardware, using the device manager, plug in your game bridge and uninstall it. Keep doing it. If it's if you don't get that little box that pop up says saying found new hardware then you're not going in the right direction if you never get that if you tried to previously install it and it didn't work you got to go in your device manager and actually uninstall it manually uninstall that that driver and then when you get that box click on it and then click skip finding the windows thing to it and then that's how you install it and folks I'm telling you it works that this program run programs made for Windows made for previous version of Windows is awesome because it actually I mean it works I can sit here and play I can free up a TV you know we only have two TVs one TV in the family room and my one TV in my little girl's room and I could free up a TV that I could sit here and play Call of Duty on here and I could record my gameplay. I don't know how people was recording their gameplays before, 
but it's, it's crazy, you know, I mean, what, you set up a camera staring at your TV or something like that, I don't know, but now you can record gameplay, I mean, it is awesome, it's better resolution than it was on, on, um, on, you know, Windows XP, you know, it's better, it's, it's, I click on best, you know, best resolution, finish it, and bam, it, I mean, it looks great. You know, it's good. It's good enough to play on. You know, online. I've played online a few matches last night. I'm, I just bought my Xbox, so you know, this is the first time I got online, and I'll probably start uploading videos. But I'm kind of garbage right now, so but I'll get better. You know, it's, <laughs> you know, I gotta practice, whatever. But it, it works. You know, it, it works, and people. You know, I'll I'll try to respond to comments. I'll try to help people that's having problems. But the main problem is that you have to uninstall that that driver to your USB port if you previous previously tried to install it. That's the main problem right there. And then you just replay the video over and over again and run through, and it'll work. And then you go into the the CD drive files to install that enter video home theater whatever that is but bam black ops start I mean it's it's awesome I get to play it on my computer I mean like game bridge was designed to do on Windows 7 ultimate I'm not sure if it works on Windows 7 home edition but I mean it's working on my computer so I'm I'm, I'm happy I'm excited you know while my wife is watching Family Feud, I could be gaming. I mean, I don't have to sit up there and listen to that. But, you know, it works great. I'm excited. Okay, Lawson, Mike Lawson. I do fishing, hunting. I mean, gaming, play World of Warcraft. I do it all. I mean, I fish in bass tournaments. And hopefully I'll be uploading more videos from that. And subscribe, like if you like it. I mean... I'm sure to help a lot of people out. Thank you. Michael Lawson out.